Character Conus brings to mind stressful decisions, invasive surgeries, and mostly poor visual outcomes. It doesn't have to be this way. So let's think outside the cone. Let's approach keratoconus like a refractive disorder with unique circumstances. Using modern day techniques and technologies, let's approach keratoconus with the least invasive surgeries or even combination surgeries towards the visual endpoint. In this case, we see a patient I'm demarcating the cone area and we have decided to proceed with a refractive laser technique, not LASIK, but a surface laser ablation called ASA. And using the eczema laser in a refractive mode in select criteria patients, we can actually aim to correct their refractive error, aiming for unaided emetropia, as you can see in this topography here. These patients can actually achieve 2020 and 2015 vision and are extremely pleased in cases of keratoconus with corneal scars. We can peel these scars under the laser and proceed with refractive laser ablation as seen here. In cases of scars that have become an integral part of the cone, I laser through the scar, aiming for a refractive endpoint. Once again, a surface laser pattern aiming for emetropia. Collagen cross-linking is a new advance in keratoconus where we can cross-link the cornea and strengthen it and I believe this will be a great adjunct to most of the refractive techniques with keratoconus. In further ectasia we can use intacts by first making a channel in the lamella cornea with a tiny slit incision. The intact rings can be inserted as segments as you can see here one segment they act by flattening the cone into a dome as you see here the second ring is now being inserted this can further be customized by using single ring double rings optical zones and axis of incision as seen here for truly individualized outcomes once the intact rings is in place we can still enhance the vision by glasses, contact lenses and even laser vision surgery. Once again, surface ablation techniques with the eczema laser can be used, like in this case with a single intact ring. This is a high mag picture and we are planning an eczema laser refractive correction for the residual astigmatism on this patient who has already has an intact in place to an emetropic outcome. Notice the circular reflex immediately after laser surgery. In cases of post-lasic ectasia, as seen in this clinical picture with the ectatic cornea, we can use sutureless lamellar corneal keratoplasty, single sutured keratoplasty, and even deep hand lamellar keratoplasty to build the cornea in various forms to provide thickness as well as improve the keratometry as seen here in this topography. This can then be followed once again by surface laser refractive surgery to correct the residual emetropia and astigmatism towards an unaided emetropic outcome. Phakic implants like the Vision ICL, aspheric implants, toric intraocular lens, and even piggyback intraocular lenses can be used to manipulate the optics of the keratoconus intraocularly followed by surface eczema laser to correct the emetropia for a great refractive outcome. So for early keratoconus, advanced keratoconus or those associated with scars and cataracts, using modern day techniques and technologies we can help these patients achieve the vision they deserve.